guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We are going to talk about all the fall blushes. Wherever we are living, most of the countries have fall right around the corner. And I wanted to talk about my top fall blushes that I have in my collection. I have a healthy mix of both drugstore as well as high end. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. I'm basically going to do a solid swatch and like a spread out swatch just so that you know how it looks. And I'm also going to do cheek swatches just so that you get an idea. Now, I have to give you a disclaimer. If you guys do not like, I would say like a spiced, a little red tone terracotta blushes, you're not going to like this video. Uh, we'll meet in the next video. But if you do like, I have eight with me. So let's start with that. Uh, the first blush that I want to talk about is from Merit Beauty. And this is called the Cheek Color. And this one is in the shade Cheeky. I really, really, really love this one. So let me swatch this. This is a little more on like a mauve side, I would say. And this is like a solid swatch. And let me do like a spread out swatch too. Just so that you see like how it will appear on your cheeks. So that is Cheeky from Merit Beauty. It's a very, very lightweight formula. And I generally just do apply it, tap it like that on top of the cheekbones. You can definitely apply it with the brush too. But this is like super easy to apply, foolproof I would say. So I just blend it out with my fingers and that is it. It's as simple as that. And this is Merit Beauty's Cheeky. Now let's move on to the other shade. This is definitely a little more on like the mauve side as you said. So there's one more blush which leans a little more mauve. So let's tackle that both. So this is from Dalton Beauty and this is called their Hydrogel Cream Balm. And this one is in the shade Stepping Out. Now as you can see this is definitely a little more of like a mature plummy mauve shade I would say. So this is stepping out. So this is like a solid swatch. And this is like a blended out swatch for you guys. So that is stepping out from Dalton Beauty. Now this definitely is not like balmy. Um, it is more like, I would say if you are aware of like Natasha Denona powder matte blushes, I would say this is closer to that. This is less powdery, I would say, but it goes like a matte finish on the face, even though it's like a cream product. But when you apply it, it's a very lightweight matte finish. So let's apply this. I'm going to take my e.l.f. stippling brush and then just stipple this on my high points of the cheek. Definitely would be going with a little more on the heavier hand, just so that you guys can see the shade. And this is Dalton Beauty's Stepping Out. Ignore, ignore the acne marks, okay? I cannot help it. I was waiting for the acne marks to go away, but seems like it doesn't want to. So, I mean, I cannot wait for any longer just because we're planning to have like a vacation together and I have to batch record a few videos just so that you guys have like all the videos at your desired time. So you have to bear with me and my acne. <laughs> so let me remove these swatches and we'll come with the next blushes. Okay, the next blush that I have to talk about is from Milani. And this is known as their Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. And this one is in the shade Merlot Moment. Now, as you can see, it's definitely like a deep Merlot Berry shade. And I really, really love this. Uh, as you can see, the texture of this blush is definitely more balmy and very emollient. I'm pretty sure you can see that. It's like a very, very deep shade, but it looks so fresh on the cheeks. I absolutely love it. And this is like a solid swatch. And this is more like a toned down version of that blush. So again, this is Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in the shade Merlot Moment. Really, really pretty shade. Again, very, very lightweight on the cheeks. So let's apply that. I'm wiping my brush in between every uh, swatches just so that it's not like contaminated as you can see like a very little amount goes to places with it really really pretty 
and I love to wear it in fall as well as in the winters I would say I love that like pinched cheek effect again this is Milani's Merlot moment the next blush is more powder blush and this is also from Milani and this is their traditional blushes and this is their baked powder blush in the shade Rose Diore and Rose Diore definitely has like that rosy tinge to it but it is definitely more of like a glowy blush so if you are a person who likes like shimmer and glow on your uh, face I am pretty sure you're gonna love this. Now, because I do have an acne there, it will definitely emphasize that because glowy blushes do that, ignore that, but I definitely wanted to show you that. So it definitely has that orangey, rosy tint to it too. So do keep that in mind. It definitely has like a swirl of bronziness, rosiness, a little bit of golden shimmer too. I don't know how much you can see it. But let me keep it very, very close just so that you can see the veins running throughout it. And this is Milani Rose Diore. Let me give you a quick swatch of this blush too. Because this is a powder blush, you might not be able to see like the exact version of it just because my hands are tan. So you can see that. That's how like a thick swatch of it looks like. But I'm going to do like a spread out swatch too. Just so that you can see like the glowiness and the peachiness that comes throughout it. Can you see that? It's definitely more on the glowy side. And that again is Rose Diore by Milani. Perfect for those people who are looking for like a glowy blush. Let's move on to the next drugstore blush. And this is from Flower Beauty. And this one is their Blush Bomb Cream Blushes or Liquid Blushes. And this one is in the shade Spiced. Now this is perfect for the people who do not like a lot of like terracotta -iness in their blushes. So it is definitely a lot more wearable. So let me give you like a solid swatch. I absolutely love this blush. Like no doubts at all. Like this, I, I wear it like pretty regularly, I would say. Again, this is Flower Beauties Spiced. You can see like it definitely is like more of like a skin like texture but when you blend it out it gives a very natural sheen on the uh, face very very beautiful like a nudie spice shade very very wearable i feel like this is like the most wearable out of the lot that you would find in today's video and very affordable you can definitely find it in alta's website too so let's apply that and this is flower beauty spiced Now let's move on to another shade. This is a very, very favorite blush of mine and this is from LYS Beauty. And this is their high standard cream blush and this one is in the shade Confident. I would say this is a perfect, a perfect fall blush in my opinion. I love the texture of it. I love the shade of it. Again, if you are more of like a medium to tan to deep skin tone, I feel like if you feel like you the Flower Beauty one is a little more nude on you, you would absolutely love this one. So let me swatch this. This is definitely more of like a creamy texture, like a powdery matte texture, I would say. So this is Confident and this is Confident Blended Out. Such a pretty shade. Very, very pretty. Really, really love that one. So let's apply that on our face. Again, little goes a very, very long way with the LYS blushes. They're very, very pigmented, but really nice quality. If you guys do not know, LYS is a clean beauty brand. So if you are looking for clean beauty brands, but with like pigmentation and great quality, I feel like LYS beauty is definitely a one to look out for. Again, this is confident. Now let's move on to the last two shades. Okay, the next blush, the liquid blush that I have to talk about is from Rare Beauty. And this one is in the shade Love. Now this is super, super deep. If you are like a lighter skin tone, I would say you need like one drop for both the cheeks. I'm going to wipe off like everything that is on the wand. I'm just like scraping it off. And whatever is left over it, I'm just going to show you 
like a solid swatch and a blended out version of it. This is in true form, like a true terracotta blush. So that is a Rare Beauty's Love. And I'm going to go over my cheeks with whatever is left on my hand because that's enough. <laughs> so I'm taking that. Blending it on my cheek. And you can see like it's blushed. You absolutely need like a very, very tiny little bit. I'm going to even like dull it down a tiny little bit with my foundation brush just on the edges. Just so that it's not like over the top. <laughs> but this is a Rare Beauty's Love. Now last, certainly not the least, we're going to talk about my Tower 28 blush. And this one is in the shade Power Hour. This is such a pretty shade. It's definitely deep, but like it's like a rosy brown shade. Can you see that? And again, this is a very emollient formula, which feels like very natural finish on the skin. So that is Power Hour. And this is like a blended out version of Power Hour. Can you see that rosy brown shade? It's absolutely beautiful for fall season. I really, really love this shade. If you are not into terracotta and you like to wear like mauvey blushes or like nudie brown blushes, this is absolutely going to be perfect for you. So let me swatch that on my face. Again, need a very, very slight amount. Can you see that like a nudie rosy brown shade coming throughout it? That's too much, but we'll settle it down. Again, this is Tower 28's Power Hour. Really, really pretty shades. And those were my top fall blushes for the season. I really, really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. And if you were in the market and looking out for like fall blushes, I feel like these are like best of the best. I really, really, really love them. So that's all for today, guys. Do let me know in the comment section below if I missed out on anything, if I am missing out on anything, and you have like a favorite fall blush that I did not mention, do sound it off in the comment section below. But yes, that's all for me today. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, sometimes four, generally on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. But until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.